Welcome to the virtual topping off ceremony for Helping Out Mission's new Women and Children Center. Even though we cannot be together in person at this time, I want to share with you how grateful we are for your support of this project. The campaign to create this new center is called the Inspiring Hope Campaign, and that is just what you are doing, Inspiring Hope. With your support, this center will provide life-transforming opportunities for women experiencing poverty, homelessness, and addiction. You are helping these women to find healing and build a new life for themselves and their young children. A topping off is a ceremony that dates to ancient times when people desired to bring blessings upon a new building. Today, the topping off of this beautiful new building celebrates an important milestone. While there is still another 12 months of work ahead, raising the roof beam helps us to see how high we have reached. As part of the ceremony, an evergreen tree is placed on the top of the building. This is to signify God's life-giving spirit that hovers over this building and will transform lives within it. The American flag honors the hard-working creative spirit of the workers. These men and women who are working tirelessly every day to construct this center. As you can see, they kept this project progressing on time and budget despite these unprecedented times. Today is a very special day to thank all of those hands who are building this center, both the construction team and you, our generous supporters who are making this dream a reality for countless women and children in this community. It's now my great honor to introduce to you Deshaun Covington, a member of Helping Up Mission Community. Deshaun is a client at our Chase Street Women's Center, and she will share the story of how her life is being transformed as part of our Women's Spiritual Recovery Program. Hi, my name is Deshaun Covington. At the Helping Up Mission, we grow, we heal by sharing our stories. My story began in Queens, New York, where I grew up. I came to live in Baltimore after some trouble in my neighborhood and I got a good job at the Horseshoe Casino. Things were going well for a while when my mother, who was HIV positive, got very sick. She came to live with us here from New York and I went to visit her in the hospital every morning when I would get off of work after doing the night shift. One morning when I was tired and I went straight home and didn't go to visit her, Later on that morning, I got a call telling me that she passed away. Um, I felt guilty and became depressed. I began drinking socially with my people at work, but eventually I was drinking morning, nights, and smoking marijuana. I started getting sick and even suicidal, which led to me being put in Bayview Hospital. I lost my job, my health insurance, and got evicted. I slept in my car, I stayed with friends. Um, during this time, my brother, who had been at the home for about two years, and he's seven years clean, was telling me about the home, and he wanted me to call and find out about the women's program. I finally did, and came a couple of times to Chase Street to learn about the program, and I finally entered the program because I was ready for a change. I've been clean and sober since February 2020, it's been really hard, especially because of having to quarantine, but I'm doing good and now I'm working at Amazon. At home, I learned about God. I prayed every day and I found good people here who care for me. My message to the women who will live in the new center is this is going to be a great new start. Try to keep with it because God kept you this long for a reason. I want to thank you for your support of home for what you have done to help me. And I also want to thank you for what you are doing for the women who will live in this new center. It's now the time for the moment we've all been waiting for, the topping off of the new Women and Children's Center. We will raise this beam up to the roof and it will literally protect those who will live here. The beam has been signed by many of the men and women whose lives already have been transformed here at Helping Up Mission, as well as volunteers, supporters, and staff. Joining me today are Gail and Frank Kelly, who serve as the co-chairs of the Inspiring Hope campaign that raises the resources to build this new center. Thank you, Bob. Frank and I are honored to be supporting this project, which will house 200 women and 50 children when it is complete a year from now. 
Since 1885, the Helping Up Mission has been serving men and providing a community of hope and help to those fighting addiction and homelessness and to get their lives back, back to their families and once again becoming contributing members of our community. As we know, addiction affects both men and women. And for this reason, Helping Up Mission started a small program to serve women at our Chase Street location. You just met Deshaun, whose life has been transformed by that program. When this new center is complete, we will multiply our service to women and provide a home where they can rebuild their lives and also stay with their children. I think so often of the mothers who will come here with their children, knowing they will be safe and on the path to transforming their lives and their families. Lord, we pray for your continued blessing upon the building of this building. Keep safe and prosper all those who are building it and bringing it to its completion. And we pray for your blessing upon all those who will make this building a home for thousands of women and children. And we ask that your life-giving, transforming spirit will flow through this place in a new and powerful way, even now. And we ask you and we trust you to provide all the remaining resources needed to complete our Inspiring Hope campaign. And we pray this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Now the magnificent hum choir will help us lift this beam off the ground and up to the sky. As co-chair of the Inspiring Hope campaign with my wife, Gail, I look at how high this building has risen, and I'm so proud of how far we have come together. But as you can see, there is still a lot of work ahead of us. Our goal is to raise $61 million to complete this project. We're thankful and excited to announce that we've raised 92% of the funds needed for this new center, but we will stay in the fight and the race until the end. I'd like to invite 
every one of you today to continue providing support to this project. If there's more you can do, we ask you to please do all you can to help us cross the finish line. Thank you very much and God bless. We will close with a poem written and read by our recent program graduate, Jeannie Carey, entitled Graduation Day at the Hum. She shares her message of hope with us today and sends it out to the thousands of women in the future who will find a new life here at the Women and Children's Center. But first, we're proud to share the wonderful messages sent to commemorate this occasion from our elected officials. Thank you for joining us for our virtual topping off ceremony. And we can't wait to see you right here in person next year for the ribbon cutting. Hello, I've been close to helping up Mission and Bob Gearman for many years. This was my district going back to when I was a city council member. I'm very proud to be participating in the topping off ceremony for helping up Mission's new Center for Women and Children. Baltimore has been able to rely on Helping Up Mission for over a century to help men experiencing poverty and homelessness and to overcome addiction and to provide them with the support they need to get back on their feet. And with this new center, the same life transforming programs will be available to women and it will also help mothers to be able to stay with their children. This center will make such a positive impact on our women and our entire community. It will help people to experience recovery and once again become productive members of society. This center will not only impact the lives of individual women and their families, but also help save the city and state government money on things like policing, incarceration, and emergency room visits. Graduates of Helping Up Mission acquires education and jobs, pay taxes, rejoin their families, and participate in our local economy. We look forward to following in the progress of the Women's and Children's Center and congratulate Helping Up Mission on reaching these new heights. Thank you for helping our residents in need to rebuild their lives. Hi, I'm Andrew Casley, and I bring you greetings from Annapolis and Governor Hogan. As the governor's senior advisor, I'm about to go into this tent behind me for my weekly COVID test. This pandemic is changing the way we all work and live. These are challenging times, and they can be very stressful and test our fortitude. Governor Hogan recognized the important work that Helping Up Mission is doing to address the opioid crisis in our state, a crisis that's been made even worse by this pandemic. We believe community-based approaches like those at Helping Up Mission will save the lives of many Marylanders. On behalf of Governor Hogan, we send our congratulations on the topping off of your new Center for Women and Children and best wishes for its completion. Stay strong, Maryland. Hey, it's Mayor-elect Brandon Scott of Baltimore City. I want to congratulate Helping Up Mission. Uh, this center will help women and children in need and expand Helping Up's uh, reach into helping more families in our area and in our city. I want to thank everyone who is a part of making this center a reality and look forward to Helping Up Mission continuing the great work that they do in Baltimore each and every day. Congratulations. Hi, this is Brooke Learman, the state delegate representing District 46, including Jonestown and the Helping Up Mission. Today, I just want to send a congratulations and a heartfelt thank you for all the work and on all the progress that's been made on completing the Center for Women and Children. When this center opens next year, it will be a warm and welcoming space for women who are experiencing addiction, and it will help them and their children to lead better, more prosperous, and thriving lives. Thank you so much for all your work and congratulations. Hi, I'm Jeannie. Here's my poem for the hum on their graduation day. I am so blessed for this is a special day. I can finally say that I have found my way. I praise the Lord each day for bringing me to the hum and I'm thankful for the seeing how far that I have come. Those drugs from the streets, they took my soul. I am thankful to God for making me whole. The Lord sent us here to this special place. It's a great feeling to know that we're not a disgrace. To be free and sober each and every day, I will never let anyone take that away. God delivered his promise and now he will say, love and peace to all for this your graduation day.